Hello and welcome back. This is part six of the Big Rob project uh, documentation video series. And uh, it's been a while since the last video, um, almost a week now. And I haven't been doing as much as I would have wanted, but uh, well, it seems that the day job keeps you busy. Um, I did, however, finish the work on this ramps board. Um, I had to do some cleaning up and resoldering. Um, in order to make this fit perfectly, I had to remove the uh, power connector to the Arduino board. Um, but everything went smoothly, and I already tested um, the standard repetier firmware on this and it works beautifully. I also did a lot of work on uh, the firmware that I have on the Arduino Nano in terms of uh, speed and uh, position keeping, things like that. Um, most importantly, after what seemed like a very long time, um, these machine nuts uh, for the threaded rod uh, finally came in. Um, I guess I didn't order them well when I should have ordered them because they took quite a long time to get here and uh, they were pretty expensive. But whatever. Um, I'm still using my uh, cheap setup here. Um, I've been working on the uh, stepper speeds so I can really go a lot faster um, than I ha have been going before. I also tried adding some weights to the uh, to the threaded rod to find out uh, if I will be running into any uh, mass or weight related problems with the with the uh, with the stepper, but it still looks pretty good. I I I will use these steppers uh, for the first iteration, and uh, they are running pretty fast now. I hope you can see this. Um, this movement was uh, with a very short. Um, acceleration which appears to be okay. It accelerates for about uh, half a second and then moves continuously. I can go faster and slower. Um, I have very good uh, repetition rate. I haven't done any complex moves, move tests yet where it has to um, start and stop very quickly but I will be getting to that soon. I did finally decide on a design for the um, for the axis rods, um, they will be positioned uh, slightly below the threaded rods um, and uh, very close uh, to the uh, base uh, for the for the mere reason that most of the weight is going to rest on these, where all of the um, linear forces will be resting. Um, on this, so this will have to be made um, a lot more solid than it is now, and uh, these parts should be um, located as far down as possible um, to make sure that I don't get any movement backlash or bending in there. Um, but this will keep it simple. Um, I will have the the connection between um, the gantry and uh, this nut so that the nut is higher than the base of the gantry which will probably be pretty good um, for some of the uh, for the distribution of torque between the two so I will probably have less backlash in, in there but no idea how that's gonna work out that's still far way to go Apart from that, um, well, that was a lot, but uh, I wish that 
I would already have these parts and that I would already be able to get these joined up. Um, but I didn't get that far, but I'll, I'll just be continuing from here. Uh, for today, that's all I have. Uh, thanks for watching and see you soon, I hope. Bye-bye.